or health influencers that you're following on social that you would recommend for us? Not necessarily. That keep it real? Yeah, I mean, look, I I know a Besides lot of- you, Ashley G, <laughs> where, 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 where do we follow you? Because we need to follow her. You guys She's, gotta follow, yeah. She has some amazing um, videos, but she doesn't post a lot. She needs to post more. I'll have to I'm try, I'm here to yeah. tell you, you need to do more. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's it's funny because I'm, I'm still learning. Like, there's a couple of young girls at the studio, and all of a sudden they just post certain things, and I'm like, how did you do that? Yeah. And so now I'm trying to learn and I'm, I'm getting there. I'm, I'm, I'm learning a few new tricks on getting some stuff out there a little more creatively on, on, on social media. Yeah. So I will begin to post a little bit no, more. No, I love that. And I love that. And I, for example, are, am not in, on TikTok and Jamal, my producer here, he's always like, we got to do videos for Facebook. <laughs> we got to do videos for TikTok. I'm like, I don't want to. I don't want to go on there. It's hard but enough right. on Instagram. Yeah, I'm like, did I just spend 20 minutes? Instagram. <laughs> trying to find a song yes. for my reel. I, I'm just like, I can't. And the other thing that I think that I suffer from is like this in, this perfectionism. I need everything to look really good and almost perfect. Mm-hmm. And everybody says, even Jamal and my son, are like, mom, you just post. It doesn't have to be perfect. You don't have to look perfect. But for me and my psyche, it needs to look a certain way. I've, and if yeah. it doesn't, I'm deleting it. I get you. I feel the same way. And I think that that also has to do with what social media does to us because we see these other videos of everyone looking so amazing and perfect. We're like, well, how come mine doesn't look that way? I know. Fitness influencers, I I follow some of them, but it's 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 a little exhausting because then I'm like, God, I could never do that. I could never keep up with that. I mean, I follow people that are, for example, former teammates. Um, I have one a friend of mine, her name is Danielle Perkins, and she is heavyweight, you know, champion in women's boxing. And uh, I mean, I've trained beside her and yeah. she is incredible. And she's very, very influential. She's a woman who's highly educated. She played basketball all around the world. And then she went into boxing and she, you know, fought in the Olympics for Team USA. Wow. So for me, she's she's someone that I look up to as as a woman, number one, and as an athlete, a female athlete. And she's already coming up in age as well. Her and I are a few years apart mm-hmm. and she's still pushing, you know, and it's wonderful to see that, you know, women can do that as well at professional levels. Yes. Yes. And I think confidence is just something that's just so intrinsic and doesn't uh it, it, whether or not you work out or you don't work out, confidence is something you have to like really build like a muscle. Oh yeah. Did you see the latest photos on Martha Stewart when she did the SI? Is she amazing. I mean, I love that woman. She's an OG. <laughs> she is something else. She looks incredible, and that's that's, that's what, we what all, I'm talking about. Yeah, we all that have, kind of confidence. It doesn't matter what age you are, what size you are, what your background is. Confidence comes in so many forms. Whether you're comfortable standing in a bikini or any kind of bathing suit in front of a camera, or if you're able to walk into a room with your head held high and just engage. Mm -hmm. I mean, confidence comes in so many different forms, and a lot of us lack it. I mean, we lack it. Sometimes even in the smallest of things. Yeah, like, yeah. And even the most confident people don't have confidence all the time. Like oh, they exactly. don't feel confident all the time. They may walk into a building. They may walk into an office and feel confident at that moment. But that doesn't mean they're confident all the time. Mm-hmm. You know, I think that's something that we build like a muscle. We grow into that. And like when I saw her photos, I thought, wow, like she's in her 70s, I think now. I think she's 81. Shit. Yeah. Wow. I think that's what, because my mother and I oh were having a conversation gosh. about it last night. And, um, and and I think she pointed out that she's 81 years old. I mean, this woman has built an empire. She's served time. The ultimate comeback girl. She, she really is. And she's so diverse. You know, it's not just Martha Stewart's baking. 
And no. I mean, she's literally branched out. I mean, she has a show with Snoop Dogg. Bo- yeah, Bulks and Snoop. Yeah, I went to a conference one time and she was the like the keynote speaker and she came out to music with Snoop Dogg. She is so cool. And I seriously, we all like got up and started dancing. We're like, oh my gosh, she's like the best. She is. She is like so, I don't know. She's just like an inspiration. When she posted those photos and I'm like, damn. I'm over here 48 feeling like shit sometimes and thinking like, oh, I'm just so gross. I'm so gross. And then all of a sudden I'm looking at her like, what the hell am I talking about? Like she feels like so confident and amazing and wonderful. I don't know. We all go through those moments, you know, especially for me now that I'm like perimenopausal and I'm like going through like a lot of changes and so many things. And, and, um, I don't feel like my best all the time. Because my hormones are always off. As, and I have a doctor now, so we, we're good on that. But still, like, there's times when I'm like, God, I don't, I don't feel good. I don't feel good in my body. I don't feel comfortable. But at the end of the day, if you think about the amazing things that your body can do for you and the places it takes you, the, the fact that you're healthy, that you can do your workout, that you can still go and do things with people, that's a win. That's Absolutely. A win. I think we all have to just step back and remember that we're human. We're human beings and there's never going to be perfection. We can work towards that perfection, but give yourself a little, you know, a little, a little slack and also recognize yeah. and pat yourself on the back because it's not easy, especially a woman. I mean, I'm 38. I just turned 38 and yeah. I have serious ups and downs as well. Sometimes I don't feel attractive. Sometimes I feel really mad and upset about things. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Other days I am super peachy, the happiest person alive. You know what I mean? Some days I have a huge appetite. Some days I don't want to eat a single thing. Just remember you're human. Every day is different and we have so many yeah. outside factors. Give yourself a break. Exactly. But also yeah. recognize what you are doing and what you have mm-hmm. done and what there's still to be done. Yeah, and re- redirect that energy from what, what you're not able to do to what you are able to do. And what you are doing, too. And what you yeah. are doing. I mean, I think mm-hmm. a lot of us think that, oh, you know, I really haven't done anything with my life. No. Step back, recognize what you have done. It may not be the most astronomical of things, you know, but still, yeah. even those little things, give yourself those kudos because we tend to be our own worst enemies. Yeah. We criticize ourselves for everything, how we look, how we feel, how we're behaving. Exactly. And and sometimes we need to be our own best friend because you have to be comfortable with yourself. You have to be happy with yourself. If you're not happy with yourself, you can't expect other people to do it for you. They may temporarily, but when then they're not around and you're sitting in bed by yourself. You tap into your own. You, exactly. Yeah. So a lot of us struggle with that too. We just are not happy with who we are and we expect too much from ourselves when we have to realize, you know, we're living in a very different world nowadays. We are and definitely stop comparing ourselves to what everybody else is doing. Oh, yeah. I think comparison is a thief of joy and it really is. I think that's so pervasive right now on social media. Ashley, I think that's something that, you know, if 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 you go online and you and you even like search, you know, like I I always do like a hashtag um Pilates workout or reformer or whatever, the women look a hundred, you know, they look a hundred percent perfect. Everything is beautiful. Everything is gorgeous. Everything is amazing. But then you think about, listen, I went into class today and I was able to do that and I was able to do this. That's a win. Like let's, let's start not looking at wins as being like physical attributes and more of like what you were able to accomplish physically, those exercises or those components that you were able to, 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 to manage, because you may not look like that 100 pound girl that's gorgeous and beautiful and has got the perfect body and everything but damn it you held a freaking lunge for 30 seconds and that's amazing and that's the thing that you keep in your head right absolutely I mean stop comparing yourself yeah I can't do that and sometimes I do it I'm like I'll scroll through just like you I'll look it up and I'll be like my gosh she looks amazing and how can she look so flawless while she holds that pose and then I'm like but that's her I know what I can do 
And then I record myself and I'm very happy with it because I know that I'm doing everything that I can with my body. I'm challenging myself and I'm pushing those boundaries. And we all have to understand that, like, I cannot compare myself to you. I cannot compare myself to my friend Danielle. We're all completely different. And, And it's one of those things like we always try to find something to fill that void that's not making us happy. Yes. Right. And it's not, I mean, just take it day by day, challenge yourself with something new, but accept what you're capable of doing. Right. And I think that the goal for today is just to encourage everyone that's out there to give it a a shot, to give Mm -hmm. it a try and come maybe for one or two classes and try it out. It doesn't have to be at Defy. It could just be at any Pilates studio. Yeah. But but for my ladies out there that are, you know, in your 40 plus and you're thinking, oh, I just don't like any workouts, try this. This is a little bit different. It's a little more um, like less, uh, I guess, not intense because it is intense, but it's I don't think your joints feel it so heavy. I think you feel more of like a breathing and stretching exercise. And I think you feel mentally just so much more um, at ease with whatever's going on around you. Um, I think what I would add to that too is, you know, a lot of people, specifically women, have this idea that if I work out, I'm going to get bulky. I'm going to put on all this muscle and all of a sudden I'm going to look like a man. That does not happen at all like you have to take supplements you have to years and years of work of heavy lifting and all that kind of stuff pilates is a way to strengthen your core deep inside your core it's also a way to create very long lean muscle and that's one of the most attractive things about it is that even if you do pilates for many years what you're doing is you're building internally strong joints, yeah. internally strong core, and these long lean muscles that you have to understand that you need to be, especially as women, as we get older, when yes. we hit menopause, it's very important to keep that mobility. So true. And it's not only just for for our joints, obviously for our weight, for our happiness, for our mental, because our body is going through a massive change. I mean, I know it because right. obviously my mother's going through it. And so I know that, you know, there's quite a bit of a long road to be expected when I begin to hit yes, those ages. Yeah. Uh-huh. And one of the problems that I struggle with my mother is that she doesn't like to be active. Her and I are complete opposite. Oh, interesting. And so, you know, and I try to work with her. And it's one of the most important things ever that women understand that because you're getting older doesn't mean that you have to stop. It's when you really need to continue pushing more and striving for more for your physical ability and your mental, mental, you know, clarity. Yes. But I mean, really, it's it's so important. And I just would love for women to feel more confident about it. Just give it a try. And then also the other thing is, is that. Don't just stop at one class. Maybe that instructor wasn't for you. That's so true. One of the things about Defy is we're we're a melting pot. I mean, we're all very different women. No, every single instructor is very different. Very different. We all have a different style. Obviously, me coming from my background of martial arts, I love to incorporate that cardio aspect. I want you to punch. I want you to throw some knees. You add a lot of weights into your workouts as well. I do. Yeah, I mean, because I want you to feel, I don't know what your workout is for the rest of your week, but I want you to know that when you come to my class, you're getting a full body workout. And I'm going to make sure that that heart rate comes up because we need healthy hearts. And obviously we know that we burn a little fat when our heart begins to accelerate mm-hmm, and we begin to mm-hmm. sweat. It's like a detox. So It's for amazing me, and it feels so good. Mm-hmm. And I think the other reason why I joined was because I, have, I did have hypertension. I don't have it as much anymore. But for me, it was like I needed to find a workout that could help me manage my hypertension. Um, and that was something that really did help me and like brought me kind of... A little bit of like a like um, like a stress relief or anxiety relief or I don't know. It was just the breathing exercises or something about it that made me feel like I could reconnect with my inner self um, and feel just happier and just you know more centered. Um, I was breathing better. I was sleeping better. I was um, just feeling overall like a better 
um, positivity about my body. I felt good. I felt um, well, sexy and yeah. sensual. There's all those components. So much of it just came from that. Right. Because so in Pilates, especially well, reformer Pilates, because there's different forms. Yeah. Right? And there's like mat Pilates, but reformer right. Pilates. So you're on your machine. That's your space. That's your time. There's great music. You have an instructor that's worked on a routine to make sure that you're being challenged. Right. So, I mean, there's all these things. And then obviously the breathing getting all that fresh oxygen, the fact that your body is moving and you're challenging mm -hmm. all those muscles. So now we have those endorphins that are being released, which helps us be happy. Our moods change because you are moving and exhausting those muscles. You are going to sleep better. I mean, it's just such benefits. There's so many benefits. So many benefits. So many benefits. And like, uh, lots of times I tell my students, because I like to incorporate lots of movement within an exercise, I'm challenging your mind as well. You have to understand that you are listening to my instructions. Yes. Your body's moving. Mm -hmm. And we have to make sure we're not falling off that machine. <laughs> so, I mean, that's all mental. Yeah. That's hand-eye foot coordination. Yeah. Right? And you're also keeping those muscles engaged. I mean, there's a lot going on. And it's a big challenge for you yourself. So, I mean, it's even more kudos and a bigger pat on the back for you because you just did it. Right. All of that. You made your body and your mind move while you're listening to instruction and you haven't fallen off the machine. You're going to feel really good. Yeah, I love that. It's that I love challenge. That, I love that whole thing about, uh, you know, challenging, your, challenging yourself to go to the next level and then the next level. And then you upgrade to the next spring or whatever mm -hmm. you're doing and you just add, add, add. Or you can add weight to something. You um, can hold that plank even longer even longer and I, I i'm right now just going out there and just telling you ladies you think that it looks easy you're like oh it's just like yoga it's just like breathing no. it is not you've got to come to a pilates class to feel the true benefits of a workout where you're really incorporating the mental the breathing the uh, physical your legs your arms everything is engaged your core feels so strong at the end that you're thinking oh my goodness I'm able to do so much and I didn't know that and so I think that's what this episode is about it really is about just encouraging you all to just really try it because it really does help not just your physical um, it really helps your mental it really helps that mindset or reset you for that morning. If you go into an early morning um, Pilates, it does reset you for the day because yes. you you have an a um, I know for me, there's like an easiness. There's like a, a breathing component. There's like a I go back into my computer and okay, I'm looking at emails in a way that's a little bit different, not so defensive and more offensive and like, okay, this person is pissing me off right now, but I'm not going to let them piss me off because I just had a great workout mm -hmm. and Pilates just made me feel so good. So, you know what? I'm going to answer you in the best possible professional way that I can answer you. It really does affect every component, everything that you do. I come home and I'm just like chill, happy. And Russ is like, oh, what are you doing today? I'm like, oh, you know what? I don't know. <laughs> let me look at my phone. As in other times, he's like, what are you doing? I'm like, I don't know. I, I've got to look at my phone. And I'm just like in a pissy mood. Mm -hmm. But when I do Pilates, he knows that I'm like in a good mood. I feel happy. I feel joyful. And then like I put on like a cute dress. And he's like, oh, Pilates body coming <laughs> through. I'm like, yes. Thank exactly. you for noticing, honey. Yeah. Oh, I'm working on that Pilates body. He's like, yeah, I can tell. I can totally tell you're working on your Pilates that is such a good, good like indicator for you ladies to try it and go for it and just do it. And again, if you have any questions, ask us. Ashley, where can my um, audience find you? They have questions for you. Instagram, for sure. I'm yeah. knock em silly. Knock em silly. So K N O C K E M S I L L Y. Knock em silly. Obviously, that comes from the fact that 
I used to knock him silly when yeah. I was fighting. And I was you competing. broke a guy's nose, so yeah. I've, I've, broken, I, I've broken a few noses. She, I had my nose broken. She definitely oh. knocked them out. Yeah. Um, but yeah, if anyone ever wants to ask anything or they want to come and train with me via its Pilates or they want to come train in the gym with me, let's do it. I'm all for it and, and I'm excited to be able to influence other women. Um, I'm obviously a very proud Latina. So for me, um, that's something that's also very important. A lot of time, Latina sort of gets stuck into in certain things, right? Yeah. Like we're supposed to do certain mm-hmm. things in our lives and we don't find time for us, um, that's for true. our mental, for our bodies. And so I really, I mean, I'm a huge. Find something where you can, it's an outlet for you, an active outlet. If it's Pilates, if it's walking in the park, if it's kicking a soccer ball with your kids, Mm -hmm. whatever it is, find something for you to be able to do in order to 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 help yeah. your body, your insides. It's going to make you feel happy. It's going to make you feel so good. You don't have to think about medications. And that's what happens a lot of times is that, oh, all of a sudden we start feeling bad and we're like, I have to go to a doctor and we get prescribed all this medication. Yes, yes. It's one of the things that drives me crazy when I visit my family in Colombia. They all have to take about 20 different pills mm-hmm. for something. And it's it could be easily avoided yeah. if you incorporate some type of exercise in your life. And obviously or cut balance. Out so much food, yeah. Yeah, I mean, you know, have a little balance. Look, when I used to compete, I had to be pretty strict with what I was eating because I had to maintain a certain weight in order right. to be able to get into mm. to fight at my weight class. Um, nowadays, I have a balance. Like I had a salad for lunch today, but then later on, I had an eclair. I have balance. I go to the gym so that I can afford to be able to say, you know what? Today I want to eat a pizza. Tomorrow I have some French fries. Yeah, but that's me. Mm -hmm. Right. Like I've already done the whole dieting thing. I think Mm -hmm. we all go through that phase where we're like, I got to try this out. I need to see if I can lose this kind of weight. All I have to say to you ladies is incorporate some kind of physical activity, not only for your health, but also for your mental. It's extremely important. It's an outlet for you to release. But really just find balance. You don't have to look like Heidi Klum. I mean, Anybody like that. It's you, Mm -hmm. your body. You're going to look completely different than me. No, I think a lot of the girls are, their hashtag goals is Jennifer Lopez. Oh, goodness. (laughs) And that's, that's hard. That is like hard. hard. So hard. I mean, (laughs) like just to give you an example, when I was in my fighting weight, I was in the best shape of my life. Mm -hmm. I still had cellulite. You know what I mean? Like our bodies are all constructed differently. Our DNA is different. Don't, yeah. don't yeah, push the other s- thing is we don't take into account is our, our ancestry. Oh, yeah. Genetics. And that um, takes so much of where you are and who you are and, and where your body's going. Absolutely. You know? The way that I eat next to someone else, my body's going to process that, burn it off completely different than someone else's, which means I'm going to look very different. So... Don't put that pressure on yourselves, ladies. Yeah. We're living in a very different age. And if you don't have the right people in your circle that are positively motivating and just making you feel good about yourself, then it's time to to move to move on and to another. change the circle. Mm-hmm. Because it's very important who you have in your life as well. Your tribe is your vibe. Absolutely. Yeah. The people you keep around you is what what keeps you moving or or not moving Uh, absolutely i mean it can really just keep you locked down somewhere down or moving forward right right and i think that's the that's the goal for the episode for today is like really definitely encouraging you all out there to definitely try something new try something different if you've been thinking about doing some pilates do it and i'm telling you that it it was a game changer for me like literally 2020 when it hit and after that, like, I just can't see myself not going to any more classes or mm-hmm. like saying, oh, I'm not going to do it anymore. No, for me, it's just become like a way of life. Yeah. It is something that I do three or four times a week. And it makes me feel happy when I'm there. I leave and I'm excited. I'm happy. I approach life in a different way. I'm able to be more patient with people because I just breathe through things. Mm -hmm. I keep my cool um, as opposed to, you know, screaming at somebody. I'm just so much more like in tune with, okay, let me, you know, 
analyze this before I get a little upset, whatever. I don't know. I mean, it just really makes a difference in somebody's mindset and somebody's mentality. And Ashley, thank you so much for being here today. And it's just been an amazing way for for us to just kind of introduce Pilates as a way for us to also um, tackle our mental health issues. Um, For me, for example, anxiety has always been a problem since I was like 13, 14 years old. Um, always self-managed. I've never taken any meds or anything for it. But for me, it's like definitely working out. Mm -hmm. And Pilates has been like a huge game changer for that. I would say that because some of us do struggle with, let's say, anxiety. Yeah. um, If a class environment is something that does produce that anxiety or that intimidation, there's other options. If you want to start maybe on a one-on-one level, let's say, you know, you can reach out. There's instructors, I consider myself one of those, that if you want to work on a one-on-one basis, a private session, so that you can fully, you know, allow yourself to just be there, to absorb it, to understand it, to move. Sometimes we think because there's other people around, we just are never going to let go. So, you know, there's ways. Don't allow whatever it is to hold you back. If it is a little anxiety, if it's some self-doubt, there's ways that you can get out there to move, to do what you have to do. I mean, even even if it's staying at home, let's just say yeah. there's people providing great workouts online as well. Yeah, yeah, for sure, like on YouTube. Right? Exactly, yeah. yeah. I mean, that's something that I've before. been thinking about doing too eventually because mm. I have a reformer at the house. Maybe start doing a few online classes for people who, you know, either want to do something on that or if they have a reformer as well. Because how much does a reformer cost? I mean, it depends. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've been thinking about getting one for my house, but I'm thinking, oh, it's probably super expensive. They're, they're a little pricey, but there's some great options out there. I mean, okay. th- there's some starter. Maybe I'll just go to your house and use yours. <laughs> Absolutely. I'd love to have you. <laughs> then I can just make you suffer at my house. Yeah, suffer so more make than I already suffer. Make all those muscles tremble. <laughs> <laughs> the Pilates shake. That's like a big deal. Like you've got to feel like the Pilates shake. We have a we have a challenge right now. We have a challenge we going do, on. Yeah. And so all the instructors are, are doing it as well. And so uh-huh. I did Krista's class the other day. Yeah. Oh my goodness. The the shake. Yeah. So true. So it she was, loves lunging. Oh, oh my goodness. She loves keeping you in that lunge. Yeah. 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 Oh, it's too much. Well, I, can't, I, I hope you come to class, class tomorrow. I'm not lunging that long. I hope you come to class tomorrow. It'll be a lot of fun. <laughs> I know it is it's fun. I'll be there tomorrow. Okay, so Ashley, thank you so much for thank coming you. in today. Thank you, thank I you for having love me. Love having you. And um, guys, if you have any more information or you have any questions for her, I'm still gonna put everything in the description. All of that information is in there. I just want to go through our affiliates. Mod Modern Intimacy is a modern sexual wellness company built on quality and simplicity and inclusivity. You can get um a unique promo alicia e10 and you get 10 percent off your purchases at checkout and also i am an ambassador for rent the runway so never run out of clothes to wear use my link for the discount and it's going to be on the description and um the membership is something i've been doing for like five years now so i love it i love it i never buy anything now really i just rent yeah most of the stuff that you see me posting it's just stuff that i rented And I'm also doing a fundraiser building personal libraries for young readers. And so that is a personal fundraiser that I'm doing. I have a book that I wrote years ago. So if you if you help and support that, we can put some of those books in the in the readers libraries, because I really believe in like developing personal libraries. Absolutely. Um, There's a lot of like nonsense going on with like book bans, but I always feel like anyway, they can ban whatever they want. I don't care if you have books at home. You are going to be okay, and you're going to have your personal library anyhow. Ashley, thank you so much for coming in. Thank you. I appreciate you so much. We had such a good time. Jamal, what do you think? We've got to get you on a reformer. (laughs) How do you oh that? yes that's the machine that you're going to be on top of for the next 45 minutes I'm good. oh i need oh. to see jamal on one of those and that's another <laughs> thing a lot of guys think that this is just a female sport it's oh. not it's becoming much more popular yeah. amongst the men as well and you should see you guys just drip sweat 
You guys shake even harder than we do because it's not easy. But don't let that intimidate you. Mm -mm. Oh my gosh, y'all yeah. men intimidated, right? Uh -huh. I mean, it'll suck. I'll do it. <laughs> We're gonna hold you to it's it. It's not gonna <laughs> suck. It's gonna be fun, it'll and then you get the addicted to it, and then you can't stop. Okay, yeah. Believe me, it's like getting a tattoo. Uh, yeah, yeah. You get so one, all of a sudden you're like, oh my god, I need so many more. It's an addictive kind of thing. I mean, I'm obviously. <laughs> in that boat there but yeah it'll be it's it's such a you know what it's such a good challenge it's such a hard workout but at the end of the day you're like mm, i need some more of that Ooh, yeah we'll see all right i'm gonna good. get jamal in there good to know. well oh and that's a good place to meet hotties too absolutely pilates hotties mm -hmm. <laughs> i know Walk we're trying to get holding jamal hand in hand ho hot, uh, pilates hotties Pilates hottie, yeah, that's a hashtag, Jamal. Yep, summer body, 2023, <laughs> Pilates hottie. Oh, this was fun. Thank you so much. Thank you again this for having fun. me.